Experts say tourism is hitting a new high over the 4th of July weekend across the area. The city and region remains on pace to break tourism numbers that were set back in 2019. Yeah, Pre-pandemic levels. News 2's Riley Benton heard from business owners and experts to break down these numbers. Tourists and locals hitting the area's beaches in downtown Charleston, ticking in some of the scenes to celebrate their 4th of July weekend. Experts say they're predicting high tourism numbers from hotels and restaurants to beaches and more for the holiday weekend. So, uh, boy, Saturday and Sunday, there were just people here all day and all night. Tourism back in a big way all across the low country. Businesses and experts say it's having a noticeable impact. Uh, we've seen an increase in, uh, in, uh, in customers, increase in people walking the streets, and people increase in our sales for sure. Out of the pandemic, tourism experts predicted numbers across the board could reach new heights. And while crowd sizes fluctuated, they still expect the final numbers to be some of the best. Once we get those numbers and look back at this weekend, we're going to see numbers that really resemble pre-pandemic. Uh, in other words, what we were experiencing in 2019, if not even a little bit higher. And while hotel and restaurant numbers are unofficial, Charleston International is having a record-breaking weekend. When the 43,000 passengers flew out, breaking the previous record set back in 2019. Airports numbers are up and so are we. Having the airport busier than ever before, so the, uh, the fly market is definitely back. Experts say it might only get busier with business and group travel beginning to make a comeback. Neil says he's hoping 2022 will be a year for the record books. Minnesota, Michigan, Connecticut, New York, Philadelphia, they're all coming down I-95 or they're coming in through the airport and they just love Charleston. So I think the increase is going to be here for a while. The official tours and numbers from the 4th of July weekend are expected to be released later in this week. Experts predict they'll fall in line with tours and numbers for the first six months for the Charleston area. For now in downtown Charleston, Raleigh Benson, count on two.